Uh, we're going to go next to item number 45, uh, legal one to pine on this. Order of the City Council of Jackson, Mississippi to stop spending from the bond proceeds regarding the Siemens contract while the City Council investigation is pending. So moved. Second. It's been motion and probably second. Mika, do you have any, uh, something you want to say about this? Yes, Monica joined the Office of the City Attorney. Um, our office um, did review um, the order presented um, and there are several legal implications that we would like to explore prior to the passage of this particular um, order and those also have some um, some connection to some uh, prospective litigation and so of course we would ask that if we want to discuss further tonight that it be placed in the uh, executive session. Wouldn't any spending that we have to do related to Siemens it would have to come before us on a claims docket anyway? Yes. So if this is our, you know, I, so, I, so I guess my question would become that if we, if we wanted to do this, we wouldn't necessarily have to do it this way. Um, no, we could just, uh, if our will is to not spend any more money from the scene of bond proceeds until we are satisfied, that this has been, uh, everything is on the up and up and all, uh, I's been dotted and T's have been crossed, we could just refuse to pay. Which is, which is what the same effect yeah. as this would be, wouldn't it? Right, and, and um, Director Powell could speak to this a little more, um, but you all have previously been presented in open session um, information concerning the stop work order and also the um, steps that the Department of Public Works is taken to try to uh, rectify some of these issues. And so with that stop work order, no additional payments are being made until they adhere to those um, those requests that were made by the Public Works Department. Look, so. I, have to, look, look, I, I, I do want to clarify, I'm not advocating we do one thing or another. I, I, that mm -hmm. question was truly just to make sure mm -hmm. I understood different options. Yes, sir. Council Hendricks? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Attorney Joanna, just a quick question. Yes, sir. Um, so even if it comes on the, if we decide not to vote for it on the claims docket, but we can't vote, we can't pay any claim until the work has been done. So we'll be obligated to pay that claim even if it was on the claims docket, correct? Well, the, your obligation stems from, and this is going to be a more generic yes, um, response. But when a, a claim is placed on the claims docket for council approval, then the council has the right or authority to ask questions related to that claim or to dispute that claim. Um, and at that juncture, then we would have to, um, as a full uh, city question or submit um, whatever those questions are to the vendor and get a response and ensure that they have adequately um, um, perform the work that the city has hired them to provide or the services they've been hired to provide, and then we will make payment. We can't withhold payment without a substantial basis, and I'm not gonna advocate for that. However, if there are any questions as to a claim, you can dispute that particular claim and get your questions answered. But the short and skinny is, if they have substantially performed the services, then we do have, have to, to pay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So, Kelly, yes, uh, uh, as it applies to Siemens, if we go the route where it comes before the um, claims docket, and I know they there are a lot of things in the Siemens contract, a lot of different work, and we've paid already paid a whole lot of money. Um, if they, if we have a problem with one part of the contract, but they come before us to get paid for a different part of the contract, can we deny payment on that until they satisfy us regarding other parts of the contract? Your dispute is directly correlated to whatever the services are that they are to provide. So my recommendation would not be to withhold payment on a portion of the contract that has been substantially completed. 
um, based on another part of the contract that has not been. Well, I, was not, I wasn't talking about a part of the contract that hadn't been completed. I'm, mm -hmm. What if we paid them for one set of things and now we find that it's not working like we think it should? In other words, and, but then they come to us with another part of the contract that they've completed the work on. We, 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 that's just, I guess we can't hold, withhold that in order to deal with the other situation. Okay. That wouldn't be my legal recommendation. Okay. Mr. President, no, uh, we got a contract with no, basically no benchmarks. And a few weeks ago, we had paid out $70 million, And I think last week we were going to pay them some more money. Now, if we're going to have an investigation and the public saying the investigation is taking place, you don't pay people while you're investigating them. You, you just don't do that. Now, the things I want to say, if we can't say them in open session, you know, we have some people here to meet with this body today who want to talk because we got to make some decisions, and we need to make these tough decisions now. Now, whether we do an open session or closed session, uh, that's your determination, Mr. President. But if we want to do it now, we got people ready to talk, and we we ready, we ready to uh, bring them and ask these, these tough questions that got to be asked and they got to be answered. Because again, how in the world you got a ninety million dollar contract with no benchmarks? You know that's 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 elementary to everyone. So again, we got to ask these questions and get them answered. And if you're saying it's going to harm us if we open it, ask them in open session, then I can hold it. I think my people stay here to close session, and we'll take a vote. Mm -hmm. But we need to take a vote today on this to make sure that we have the confidence of the public that if we're going to investigate you, we're not going to pay you while we investigate you, and then you get all your money, and then we find something is wrong, and the only thing you're going to say is sue us. Because you got all your money. You got $90 million dollars. And you gonna tell us to sue you, and no, we ain't got money to sue you. So somewhere down the line, you got to stop spending and say, "Whoa, <clears throat> why don't we have benchmarks? When this happened, that happened, that happened, then you get paid. You can't just say, "Well, we're gonna get paid every month and ain't done any work." Everybody will support that. We got a contract say, "Okay, they get this month, this much money this month, this much next month," but they ain't put nail meat in the ground, no benchmarks nowhere. That's a soccer move. Thank you. Councilman Till. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, each time this subject comes, comes up, it requires quite a bit of time. So I, my recommendation would, would, would be to, to hold this, uh, put it in uh, a committee, uh, hold a special council Meanwhile, we can go into discuss, or we need to go into executive session. We go into executive session. Well, we are, it's nine o'clock now. We'll be here. To, we'll be here at twelve. Do we just see them? Uh, Mr. So, President, uh, uh, the same people be, 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 will still be available. We'll be uh, glad to put speaker limitations on the people we have here to make sure that it's time limited so we can get in and out. But we need to hear what they have to say. Uh, again, this is extremely important to a lot of people in this city. We're talking about low income, fixed income. We're talking about raising the water bills. And, you know, we got people in here today that need to, that we need to hear from. All right, so is this, is this building even conducive for an executive session? Uh, Mr. President, um, I have been corresponding with uh, City Clerk Moore, and she has found a room that the council and all pertinent individuals can meet in um, right across the hall if we need to go into executive session. All right, so um, one thing I do want to say uh, beyond this item, this is was the nexus is up even, even starting an investigation um, so that we can call the people in who made the decisions for this um, ridiculous contract to paint a picture of their decision-making process uh, and, and how we got here. Hindsight is 2020, but I want to uh, do the investigative process and we'll be presenting that to council. We had a meeting with, uh, myself and Councilman Foote had a meeting with some members of the, uh, of the FBI uh, just before we came to this meeting today. 
to discuss the framework of this investigation and how it will go in, uh, in, in the best way to proceed in investigating these matters. And, uh, and, and I'll brief, the, I'll prepare a narrative to uh, present to the council as our next steps for our investigation. And basically a portion of it is, uh, a portion of the investigation is the Siemens contract, even though a lot of it's not the Siemens contract, it's the Water Billing Administration. But the rest of it is the Siemens contract to, um, to identify in detail the birth the relationships involved, the um, the people who advised us on the contract, um, the people who advised the council, just what were you thinking? And I want and I, and I want those parties who were uh, a part of crafting the documentation for the council people um, to present to this council what they presented that council, and uh, and we're gonna go through it like I said from the beginning. We're gonna go through it from the rooter to the tutor, and it's gonna be a nasty situation. And, um, but um, but you, it, there is a responsibility for presenting information to a governing body that's inaccurate, uh, manipulated. Uh, there's a responsibility there. And, um, and, and I feel Councilman Stokes' is, um, you know, pain. And, um, and, 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 but I do want to make sure that I don't do anything in our sessions that Compromise. They compromise the investigation because our investigation is a basic investigation from my conversations with the Attorney General's office and the FBI. What we're going to do with the fruits of our investigation is hand it over to other people to continue to um, take the appropriate actions and accountabilities uh, forward. So we don't want to compromise what we're doing. Uh, another thing about the investigation I'll say at this juncture is Jackson has to prove that it can self-govern. We didn't want to just call in the Attorney General's office or the Auditor's office to just run through our personnel offices and our books and our records. We have to prove that we can hold ourselves accountable and take the appropriate action as a government. And that's the other nexus of this investigation. So um, what I'm going to ask my colleagues to do is to um, withdraw their motions. We'll table this item to the end of the agenda and that we can go into the room and, and discuss um, at, that, at that moment. What do you want to say? I draw the motion, Mr. President, and my understanding, uh, at the end of the meeting, we'll go in the room and then we'll discuss. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Mr. Yes, President, sir. I just wanted to, um, I guess on the other side of that, uh, I'm just grateful uh, that we didn't get um, at the end of a contract and then the key be turned over to the city and then we have all of this mess on our hands. Uh, so let me just personally thank uh, Jerry Smash, uh, who's a, a project uh, manager, and Keisha Powell for um, when we first started having these talks um, back in the summer, and they were sniffing that something wasn't right. Um, they immediately uh, got on it. Uh, they immediately brought to this council um, uh, the contract that brought Raph Tellis on, and you all approved that. Uh, the information that the council has in their hands now is is a fruit of um, uh, the digging uh, that was done by Raph Tellis and by the Public Works Department. And I'm telling you, we, we could have gotten down the street, y'all, and uh, had the key in hand, walking in the house, and, and realized that the foundation was messed up, the yeah, plumbing yeah. was messed up. Uh, and there was no way to hold anybody accountable uh, in, in that. So while, you know, it does, uh, there are implications that could appear to be gloom and doom. There's another side, side of that that says that we could be down the street with absolutely no leverage whatsoever, uh, no recourse whatsoever. And, and you're right, Councilman Stokes, saying uh, they, they're saying sue us and we don't have anything to sue with. Mm -hmm. And suing hurts us just as bad as uh, carrying the bag that we have. So. I just wanted to personally thank uh, those folks who, um, again, when they first got in town and, and when uh, Ms. Smash first started talking out loud about the issues that he was having, and we were able to get, get on the ball and council supported us in that. And so uh, we're on the same team. I don't, I don't want uh, why. It's your investigation. Right. Um, we're on the team. Uh, if we weren't, there would be no stop work. Right. Uh, if we weren't, Siemens would still be out, you know, doing what, what they were doing. But uh, we... You know, we took the hit, and we are still taking the hit from from some contractors and some folks who, uh, you know, believe that 
what we're doing is affecting their bottom line, but we're willing to do that in order to make sure that there's some resolution to this and that uh, our citizens get the best benefit of not only what we're doing on our side investigatively, but also what the council is doing. So uh, we're on the same side. Okay. Amen. Councilman Soaps, I mean, Councilman Tillman. Amen, amen, amen. I've been fighting this bell. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I said something long, long ago. I hadn't focused on SEMA activity for a long time. And I thank God, I thank God for Keisha Powell. And I'll continue to sing that song. We were going to be caught in a big mess. And we still in a big mess. I'm on team one, two, and three. <laughs> and if you add four or five more, I'll be on there. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, um, uh, Legal, for, um, for your sentiment. Let's move forward.